Yep, let's do it. Uh, hi, I'm Matt Poitras, um, director, uh, editor, and producer, and I also play uh, Corporal Auckland. Sniper! And uh, prop and costume designer as well, and I've made that monstrosity behind me, which we call the PKD for short. This is like about a month of work right here. Yeah. Make, right? Is that about when yeah. I started it? Like we all would ago. agree with that. Yeah. Just got rid of it. obsession. A, mo a month worth of, with, with of obsessing. Yep, Matt's month obsession. <laughs> Do you want that inside? Yeah. Okay. I've done this millions of times. Millions. Millions so of times. Uh, and then we got one of these. Here. How heavy is it? It's heavy. <laughs> it's like, what do you, what do you think? 20 pounds? Oh. Hold on, hold on. I think we have to do it the other way. All right. <laughs> Quite the technical wonder. Like, yeah, the technical the tech monster here. All right, so this tank right here is the main jet. Here is actually the stunt double hand from this, which Vernon Wells wore in No Chance. All right. In your wildest wet dreams, there is. About that, talk about your creation. Yeah, there you go. Figure that out. What is this, Matt? Uh, this is a PKD, which is a Panzer Kugel drone. Oh. It took me about like kind of two months of solid work to, to make uh, the stunt version, which has like the limbs that you can um, animate and the eye apparatus and stuff like that. The hero version is behind me, and that's the one that has the full jetpack in the back. Uh, rolling camera and Action. Just go to the right. Put your ding dong in there. You whack <laughs> off. <laughs> no! My girlfriend could use this. What are you saying? You can cut off my dick. Uh, I'm just gonna do some fine sanding on it, the surface, uh, to wear to wear down the smoothness of it because paint will tend not to stick to something that's smooth. You know, rug, a little rugged, but not too much.
faster. Getting this thing to move properly was the biggest pain in the butt. I mean, we had, I think the first shoot, it was just on a stand or a, uh, somebody was hand holding it. Second time we brought it out, we had two guys holding it with like a, a jig I made and uh, got it in the editing room, immediately realized that motion was not good. Luckily, uh, some guy I know did me a real solid and let us borrow a jib. Action. Let's try one where you just keep it, keep it low. Okay. <clears throat> Double fed again. All right, fuck it. Let's move on. So yeah, I constructed the PKD over a couple months. The main work, honestly, like the last things that I put on it were just like a couple of weeks ago, right before we were shooting. But what, what basically what the PKD is a, is a floating weapons platform. So it has a machine gun on it. That's a caseless ammunition machine gun. So there's no shells ejecting. Uh, the ammunition's small, so it can it can hold a lot. And the drum mag that's on the side, which is just like an MG34, MG42 mag. And then it has a fixed uh, barrel uh, that's like kind of like set to like the eye, so wherever it turns, that semi-automatic gun can can fire. It's kind of a a little bit of a sniper rifle. It has more of a long range. And then on the side, it has two sets of six rockets that are like uh, kind of like uh, grenades, I guess. Um, they're actually just uh, Russian BOG grenades that I had cast uh, left over from another project. Secondary PKD that we see at some point has a flamethrower on the bottom of it. And that's the thing that we're saying kind of attacked the whole uh, long range desert groups um, base camp that they were at. But yeah, overall it's been uh, a lot of insanity, but really great shoots, no one got hurt. Yeah, we have one more thing to do tonight, which in involves blowing up a jerry can. Das ist gut Bier. <laughs>